Hey guys, how's it going? Lamar here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about competition. You know, if you're sitting at home wondering yourself, you're trying to evaluate a market on Amazon, you're thinking, does this market have too much competition? If I launch a product, you know, in this market, am I going to be, be able to compete? These are the different things I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. Um, I think it's super important. I know you guys have been having a lot of questions about evaluating competition. So I'm gonna be addressing them in today's video, just showing you how I think about competition, how I uh, evaluate different markets, different pros and cons to dealing with competition. So pay attention to today's video. Before I jump in there though, I did just wanna say that today's my birthday. I'm turning 29 years old and your birthday, holidays are coming up. You wanna take time to just appreciate you know, what you've accomplished, what are the things that you've learned to date. You know, for me personally, I'm growing a seven figure e-commerce online business. I'm super pumped about, you know, I have an awesome A-class uh, team all the way from you know product sourcing, product manufacturing, supply chain management to digital marketing. I mean, we really have, I've built up an infrastructure that I feel is really strong to continue to scale my e-commerce business. So I'm super appreciative of that. You know, I'm in control of my own time, my schedule. I can travel anywhere, work from anywhere in the world. You know, I don't have a nine to five job. Um, I'm diversifying my income streams. The, the, these are all things that are beginning, beginning or have already, but continue to become apparent in my life. And I am super appreciative of them. And I wanted to remind you guys that I'm here trying to, to help you guys uh, accomplish the same things. And I want you to take a moment out of your day today to just you know, think about the different things that you've accomplished to date um, and that this journey that we're experiencing together is, is a good one, that we're gonna get there and just take a moment and reflect on the different things that you have accomplished or learned. Uh, but without further ado guys, let's jump into today's video and I'm gonna be breaking down competition, how to evaluate competition for your Amazon FBA e-commerce business. Point number one here about competition is don't fear it. Guys, you are gonna have competition in every market. This is actually something that I was pretty concerned about, um, you know, two, three years ago when I was first launching my, you know, my first product. I was super concerned about competition. You know, where's the weakest competition? How am I going to exploit this, you know, this market? How am I going to position myself? These are all important questions to ask yourself and important things to prepare yourself for, especially when you're launching your first product. However, I want you guys all to take a deep breath and realize that you're always going to have competition. And if you don't have competition in the market that you're thinking about entering into, that might be a bad sign as well, right? You're always gonna have competition, and if you don't now, you soon will. So you might as well just get used to dealing with the fact that you're going to have competition, and we need to understand that, internalize that, and then we need to work towards how do we compete? How do we take a sliver of this market, build upon it, launch our product, break into that market, and slowly take a a, a bigger piece of the market share over time. So point number one here, guys, is don't fear competition. It's gonna be around, you're always gonna have it. Point number two here on the list, guys, is learn from your competition. As I said earlier, you're always gonna have competition in the market. So what can you do? You can learn from them, right? you can evaluate how they're thinking about their Amazon marketing strategy, right? How good is their copy? How good is their imagery? You know, how are they innovating on products? You know, do they have a social media accounts? What does their website look like? You know, do they have marketing funnels? These are all different bits and pieces that 
you know, a, a, a competitor or a good competitor will be thinking about. You know, how cohesive is their business strategy when they go to launch new products? I'm telling you that there's likely going to be weak competitors, right? I'm sure that you're gonna have some strong competitors in the market, but there's also gonna be weak competitors. What are the strong ones doing successfully? What can we copy? What can we learn from them? You know, what are the weak competitors doing? Are there weak competitors in the market? And are they still selling a decent volume? You know, if you were to launch a, a better and improved product within the same market, do you think that you can outcompete them? Can you knock them off the list? These are different things that I'm asking myself when I'm breaking into a market. These are things that you can ask yourself when you're thinking about evaluating a market, right? So our goal then becomes, is there competition? Yes. What can we learn from them? How can we improve? How can we innovate? How can we do a better job than what's currently existing in the marketplace so that we can take a piece of that market share, slowly expand our business, and then dominate that market? Point number three then is dominate your competition. So after you have already understood that you're, you're, you've alleviated the fear of competition and you've learned from your competition, now it's time to dominate your competition. Guys, we need to understand that we just need to br initially break into the market, do better than the, 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 the last, the weakest links within that market, build out our infrastructure, okay? offer a superior product, and then build, expand from there. The great thing about this strategy, guys, is that it can evolve over time. The most important thing is to launch a product into the market, get customer and product feedback, get real sales data, right? Knock off the weakest competitors within the market, continuously improve your product over time, Right? Because you can launch your product, you can get that customer feedback, you can continue to make improvements. Meanwhile, you're building out your supply chain, you're learning about all the intricacies of uh, supply chain management, you know, manufacturing and digital marketing. Once you capitalize on taking a, a piece of that market share and you feel confident in your infrastructure, now it's time to dominate, roll out multiple products, really capitalize on the whole niche market. That has been my strategy moving forward. Once I um, understand a market, niche market completely, and I feel confident that there's good margin, that the, 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 the category responds well to my product, the, the customers are responding well to my product, then it's time to really roll out multiple units, expand that product line, and just completely dominate that market. And that's when you become a fierce competitor, right? But first you gotta start off with one product. So just enter in that market, knock off the weakest links, learn about the market, and then go for domination. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be keep coming out with more videos, like I said, once a week. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, definitely hit that subscribe button below. Guys, it's my birthday tonight, so I'm gonna be heading out with some friends. Make sure you take some time to yourself and enjoy, like I said, enjoy what you've uh, accomplished today uh, or what you've accomplished uh, thus far in the, in the e-commerce and e-commerce, your entrepreneurial journey. Keep pushing, guys. Don't fear the competition. Go out there. Start with one product. Learn about the market. And then let's go dominate e-commerce and Amazon together. Peace.